Okay, so let's have a quick look at how these three, um, well, this data set appears in the three different file formats. Now we've got first up here um, in CSV. Now the data um, set comes down in a TV TSV, which is a tab separated values. Um, I basically imported it into Excel um, and then so save it as a CSV because it just is easier to use and we actually have material to work with that. So you can see along here, the very first line is all the field names across the top here. And they each field name is separated by a comma. And then every subsequent line afterwards is a record. And that record has all the values in it. And those values, um, again, are separated by commas. So we've got one all the way down to line or record. Um, 3277 because the first line's gone. So that's how a CSV file looks like. Let's go back to a, go over to a JSON file. So a JSON file is a slightly different, um, a bit fancier. It's, it's a Java script um, um, file base. And in here, you can see we actually have a, a record which says this is the fields. It, it, it's a, as a form, it's a dictionary. Um, which has the information about each field in here. So the dictionary, um, which the element of the dictionary is um, a list, and in that list consists a whole lot of other dictionaries where each dictionary represent, represents a individual field. So this is um, the um, field ID, space ID, which is um, of a number type, right here, and then you've got the next, um, the next field type, which is crash year, and it is of a numeric type. So you can see that each one of these, because of the curly brackets, are actually dictionaries. Um, so there's that. And then we have another um, dictionary after that, which is the records dictionary, which refers to all the actual records themselves. And the records dictionary consists of um, a list, or a list of lists. So there's a list, got the square bracket open up here, and one down the very end. And then in between we have a list of lists. So the list in here is actually all the values of that record. So that's how a JSON is actually put out. Finally, XML, which is a little bit more um, complicated, but maybe not. It's um, based around a hypertext type of language. So it works on tags. So you have an opening tag da data here, which gives us a XLM Okay, XML object, and that's the opening of it here. And we go down to the very end, you can see you've got the closing tag. So there's a closing tag. Now, if you think back to our mind maps you do when you have you got parent nodes and you've got child nodes. So this is the root node, is called data. Then off data is a whole lot of other little nodes that come in. Now it might be easier if we put um, to make this look a bit simpler. I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm going to um, select all those rows in between that, that exist within data and I'm going to um, indent them. So we can use indentation to give us a better idea of the actual structure of this data. So you can see that the first, so this is all the rows here and each one refers to uh, a different record. So this in here we have row ID and you see there's no closing tag. So the closing tag is actually um, Let's go sideways with this one at the end of that line. So you can see the row up here, that's the closing tag. So that is another record here, uh, another indentation if you want. So this for this record, this row, it's recognized from there. And it, within it, we have a whole range of different values. So this is the tag of crash year. Um, it doesn't have, okay, this is okay. This is a tag of row and it has an attribute of one, of ID one. So we know that that's referring to row um, record number one. Then we have here, within it we have a tag of crash year, which is effectively a field name. Um, it has a text value of, of 2001. Um, and then we have another one because I've got the close of the tag there. So opening crash, Police region tag, closing it, um, and the actual, so the tag itself is crash severity, and the um, 
the as I'm going to attribute the text value is fatal. So I'm just going to make one one row. You can see what one row, one row will actually look like in here. Um, and obviously this just gets repeated over and over again um, for each row of the database over 3,000 times. So I'm just delineating here um, with an opening tag at the beginning, a closing tag at the back. Um, and so we can see what each individual um, child node is or subchild. And get a bit of an idea of the structure. So that's the end. There's row there. So I'm going to bring row back out here. So this is just one record, or the very first line of of the JSON of the XML file. So in the data, which is the XML um, or the root um, node, if you want, or the root yeah the root node. Then we in there we have a node which is called row ID one, radio, and then within that we then have, well, have the child. Sorry child root ID one then we have sub childs in here and each one is an individual field um, it doesn't have attributes but it does have text because that's the stuff that exists between the two tags and that will tell us what the values are there so that's how an XML file looks so we've got the three of them um, you'll, you'll end up having preferences of which one you want to work with they each have strengths and weaknesses but in the end you're probably going to be determined by what um, is provided by the actual data set providers.